What's up guys? It's Wiggle with Wiggles Outdoors and today I'm going to do a review of the FS128T Ascend Kayak from Bass Pro Shops. It offers a wide variety of options and although it's big for a size at 35 inches wide, 12.5 inches long, this kayak's relatively quick. Not to mention the speed that this thing provides. Although some reviews will say that this uh, is like a log in the water, it just requires a little bit more strength than uh, what most people are used to. I mean, it is a 100 pound kayak, but that makes it very durable. You're most likely not gonna puncture any holes in this thing. You can take it down some rivers, although it is a sit on top kayak, I still prefer this thing. I keep right up with all the other 12 footers, 13 footers, and some 14 footers. This does come with four functioning rod holders. Also a attachable rod development part. As we get into that, we can look into our storage units here. The pop open, this is one of many of them. One of my rod holders is inside of this storage unit. You can put a fish finder on here like I have done with mine. It does come with scupper plugs, a dry storage unit. With a nice little storage area here to put a tackle box or backpack or whatever you think you need to put there. As well as a nice storage container up front. For long distance trips, I would recommend putting maybe your clothes or something up there. Lighter weight objects. It also comes with a fully functioning seat that has three different levels on it. You can set up, this is the lowest level here. It's a very balanced kayak if you can't tell. I just did a complete 360 on the seat while sitting on the water. No major issues other than the fact I was holding my camera and that made me a little wobblier than usual. I'm now sitting completely backwards and you can check out the back part of this kayak. The back part is going to feature a few more options. You have another storage container back here. This is where you put your heavier stuff. You want your heavy stuff sitting as close to you as possible. And uh, this is where I would put that. I would angle it up here. Maybe my tent, my sleeping gear, my stoves, etc. Food also. You have another storage container back here. And this is where I would actually put a nice cooler at if I was to have one on here. Be without a nice little drain plug as well as nice handles to carry this thing with. The rising seat, this is it. One, two, and three being the bottom one that I'm currently on. The complaint I do have about the kayak is that the handles will come unscrewed a little bit. The nuts aren't as held in place as well as I would like for them to be, but a little bit of plastic weld and your solution solved almost instantly. As well as the leaking issues or anything that you have, you do want to reinforce leaking uh, areas around the hinges, etc. It does come pre-equipped with yet, like I said, two more rod holders as well as an anchor trolley system to attach your anchor to that you can go up and down with. You do have a nice leash here that you can grab onto and it's plugged in quite well. You can also attach other leashes if this one isn't long enough or maybe it's too long for you. With that being said, this is a 35 inch kayak. So it's very stable. 35 inches across is quite wide when most of them are only 30 inches. Some are at 28. And if you get into the ocean kayaks, you're maybe looking at smaller than that. I'm currently standing on this kayak and I'm wobbling my feet around with no issues. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to check out my other videos I have below. My channel is full of nothing but outdoorsy vlogging style actions, blowgun hunts, recurve hunts, traditional style fishing, bushcraft, survival, and tons of other things on there, as well as plenty of kayaking trips where I take this baby and a few other kayaks out, and I go fishing and camping and enjoy the outdoors with you. Peace out, guys.